Well, folks, welcome back. Here's a little sheep update. The sheep are all now in the house. These are all our triples, and these are all doubles. And then up above, we have the singles. The doubles and the triples have been in for this past three weeks or so. The singles just came in there a few days ago. We kept them out a wee bit longer, just because they're on quite good condition anyway and we didn't want to have them on too long, get them too fat and as well as that it's easier on the sheep being outside and exercising, they don't get sore feet or anything like that as much so keep them out as long as we can but we had to bring them in because we were running out of grass. So here they are, we haven't actually started feeding them any meal yet, they're just eating this lovely haylage that we made back in the summer. Uh, check out the video for that, I'll put the link in the description below, uh, I'll put a clip of it here even. Uh, that's, this is really good stuff, didn't expect anything else because the weather was fantastic at the time in the middle of that heat wave last summer, so you couldn't really make bad stuff on it. Um, but that's, that's all the doubles and triples down there, we've actually got one in here that's marked for four. Let's see if we can find her here. There she is down there. With the four dots on her. Just looking at us there. White speckly face. So she is scanned for four. She's getting quite big already as you can see there. So we'll have to keep an eye on her and see what happens. We actually had a yo give birth to four lambs last year, although she was scanned for three, but unfortunately only one of them survived. They were just born before their time, too small to make it, but that's the handling you face with uh, too many lambs. So around here they're happy enough, they're all bedded up. Um, I'll show you the process of it. Basically we put a bale of straw on each corner of the pen, bed one half of the pen first and then let the ewes walk past and bed the other half. Try and disturb them as little as possible. We don't like them rolling around too much when they're when they're heavily pregnant. We're about four weeks off lambing here at the minute. So we'll be starting probably in the next week or so to feed particularly this batch some concentrated food to uh, give them the energy they need because the last uh, last few weeks up the lambing, the, the, the lambs really take it out of them. They need, uh, need a lot of food, so they do. And over here we have all our singles. We have expanded this pen a little bit. Uh, if you remember before, it used to come to here, went between those two girders there. Uh, and last year we had some sort of jammed up in here and they were too tight, uh, it was hard to bed them, they got sore feet, they just they hadn't enough of room. So we have come across another bay, we thought about building a second bay but then we'd have had to put a gate in there and bring them to between two pens. I wanted to keep the yard clear so that if you're lambing a yo in there and bringing her into the pens, you can just walk her straight out of the pen. You don't have to walk her through an open yard because then they can run all over the place. But when we scanned them, we had 30 singles and there's a few empties here as well. So we just thought we'll lift that post out there, dig a new hole over there, and set it in there and make one big pen for all the singles to keep them all together. And then we have the bits of old rusty looking gates. Mightn't look like much, but they're sort of useful come end of February, whenever we're in the middle of lambing and besides the snow and the weather turns really bad, they're handy for jamming ewes and lambs on when you need somewhere to put them. So we're thinking it was divide this up the centre whenever there are 
plant there 30 lambs and after the weather turns rough we can keep them in here just somewhere to go with them um, the design of these pens I don't think I've ever talked about that before but um, I'll show you or maybe you've seen that a little clip of the building of the pens basically these are all posts are under the ground Got a hundred mil socket in the ground, ninety mil post sets in. So and then everything they're bolted together. Everything is designed that can lift out. Uh, before we built a bit of a shed to store machinery in, this doubled up. In the summertime, we had all the tractors and things parked in here. Leaves it kind of multi-purpose. Uh, the cost of putting in a tank or slatted uh, pens, you know a lot of money for shed that maybe has sheep on it two to three months in the year and that's up and the rest of the year then it's useless so we kind of went with a multi-purpose design all this is dismantled once the sheep go out we unbolt these lift them out lift the posts out lift the boards out come on scrape it all out and then you can use the shed for anything so we have a four foot gap at the front here and then two foot right around every pen, so up the centre, along the back, and along the sides. Um, went with that plan, went and looked at a, an older man's shed who had a tank and plastic slats, and he had the two foot pad right around, and he says, great job, and he was right. You go in with your bucket of meal, the sheep are all run under the bucket, you walk right around the pen, they follow you around, there's no pushing, bullying, they all have space to eat. Now, in hindsight, the two long sides in the front would have been enough because we're straw bedded. We can't really put any more sheep in there than that because you couldn't keep them bedded. They're always dirty, they get sore feet, etc. We could have put that against the back wall, had two foot bigger of a pen slightly more space. The three sides are enough when we're feeding the meal we just feed the two long sides and along the front and that's plenty. And then the silage goes along the front here and sort of halfway up the centre. That's where we're at at the minute. Another three to four weeks, we should see lambs starting to appear. Definitely sheep getting very big anyway. So now, this year that we don't have any jam down here, we'll have room for a few more lambing pens up this side. We'll have lambing pens here, and we'll have lambing pens all up the back wall here. Leisurely is just giving it a bit of a power wash out. We'll throw a lot of lime around, disinfectant, to keep the place nice and clean. Um, the doors like that there, and these ones sort of dotted around over here, we use them when the weather turns bad or whatever and we can't get lambs out. And uh, when we have the space in these pens, uh, say when we get 20 or 30 lambs, we'll bunch them up again, free up a pen line it with doors and put yews and lambs in there. Um, put the doors in just to stop the lambs jumping in and out because they can get out the gap or the sheep put their heads through. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, stay tuned for spring and lambs and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.